All right, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Alan Chin, I'm from GoerTech. And I'm Saeed uh, Bakadir from uh, Qualcomm. I hope uh, you guys get some lunch already or we need to cater you guys. <laughs> this is the worst timing for really a presentation, but hand over to Alan. All right, so today we're gonna be talking about Qualcomm's VR HMD accelerator program and GoerTech's participation in it. So first of all, uh, a slide about GoerTech, uh, since some of you may not be familiar with the company. Um, GoerTech uh, started off as an acoustic component company, and we are one of the world's leaders uh, for MEMS-based uh, speakers and microphones. We are also a ODM and JDM for a number of specific markets, including wearables, hearables, and VR AR. Within VR AR, GoerTech is the world's number one JDM ODM partner. Uh, we have been in the VR business for a while. Uh, we have invested in all of the different segments of VR and AR, including tethered VR, standalone VR, and augmented reality, as well as all of the different controllers and accessories related to VR and AR. Some of the key things that GoerTech has done in VR that you guys might have heard of are the Sony PlayStation VR and the Oculus Rift. Uh, we are their manufacturing partners. Uh, as the world's leading VR, AR, ODM, uh, we were fortunate to be partnered with Qualcomm on their VR HMD accelerator program. And it's actually the pleasure is ours as well to be working with you guys. Just one question to the audience first. How many of you knows or heard of HMD accelerator program or how we call it exactly HAP? Oh my gosh. Oh, at least we have two, well, four. <laughs> uh, well, let me then give a little bit of background of uh, what HAP is about, um, maybe spending a little bit of time of um, how we, we go about it. This is a program that we started last year, and it's a growing program. Um, and the aim or the goals, the three main goals for this program is how can we get the devices out to market quickly? How can we get prototyping um, uh, quick? And how can we make it easy, but not only easy, cheaper, for people to do all what they want to do on VR? Because we know building a whole platform with all the pieces to put it all together, to glue everything together, it's going to take a lot of effort and a lot of time. So that's the first goal. Um, the second thing is, uh, obviously, quality is a must. We're not going to compromise the quality. So first of, first of all, how can we define that quality? And how can we enable the ecosystem to make sure that, quali that quality is met? And the third thing is scale. If you are a display vendor, if you are an algorithmic person that developed something, if you are um, um, a sensor vendor, if you are an ODM, you, if you are an OEM, you want to be scaling up. You want to be going from one device to another. You want to go from one form factor to another. So how is this is going to be um, uh, enabled? So a little bit more uh, background um, on why we thought even about bringing HAP program to the ecosystem. So think about it. All of us here, and I'm sure you as well, our aim is to grow the market. We want everyone pretty much to be uh, bought in into uh, um, XR devices. Because not only because we want to get money, I'm sure this is a big part of what we're doing. That's why this business is about. But mainly also because we are a believer that XR is going to be um, a big part of our daily life. It's going to be changing. And this is a sentence that will come up a lot. It's going to change the way we communicate. It's going to change the way we play the way we learn. So it's really a big, just like the way the smartphone is in our life today. So one key question that I get asked all the time, what is the killer use case or that experience that everyone wants? And that experience, it could come from anything. I don't know how many developers are here or component vendors or ODMs or, I mean, 
everyone has an idea of how can they contribute into that experience to make it that killer experience. And then the question is, how can you get into the point that you can show that experience? How can you prove it that it's working, right? So um, one way is, of course, you're gonna go and build your own system from ground, um, for ground up, and you need to deal with all the problems. The issue is, and what we've seen is, you're gonna meet a lot more problems outside your expertise that you would be expecting up just to be focusing on your exact uh, problem, right? So because you have to deal with the display, with optics, with the hardware, um, with the electronics, with the software. So if I'm a software, event, uh, if I'm a software ISV, for example, I build an algorithm, why do I need to deal with all of that? If I am an ODM that I wanna enable uh, OEM fast to go to market, why do I need to deal with all the BSP issues or the design itself. So the key point here is really how can we enable everyone to be able to uh, get and focus on that expertise that they have and bring it into validation stage. The other thing to keep in mind, this is a nascent market. So the validation is gonna be an iteration. It's gonna be uh, always happening all the time you will have to do one gener generation one, generation two, and it goes on and on. But imagine once you have to do that, how much time you need to spend on every generation, right? So this is where the HAP or the um, HMD Accelerator Program comes to picture. And as just its name means, it's an HMD. So we're offering a full and complete solution out, but accelerated. So how can you get into market uh, quickly? And the second thing which is important, which is the Qualcomm part, which is it has to meet the bar of the quality. And we need to try to get that bar as low as possible for you guys to make sure that you can enter into it easily. But also, how can you scale from there? How can you get to the next product, the next uh, form factor? So basically, the, how we will go about it. Um, so HAP offers, um, the way it's gonna be presented to you guys, it's in, uh, across five pillars. The first one is reference design. I wouldn't be disappointed now. How many of you heard of Qualcomm reference design? Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> so the uh, reference design is, uh, basically is, uh, it's now available if you can even get it online. It's something that we build, it's a, a full HMD with a set of configuration, with a set of technologies built in already. And the aim of the reference design is, there are multiple of them. One is showcase the technologies. Second thing is, wanna make sure that we are advancing that technology by putting together all the technologies that we're getting from the ecosystem, right? And the third thing is, we wanna make it easy. If I'm an OEM, I wanna go to market. I don't wanna start from scratch. I want to basically make sure that I have a starting point and I have something I can start with and build up and that I can maybe change a company. And if I'm a competent vendor or a, a software vendor, I don't want to deal with all of that. I want to make sure that I just take advantage of what I have and focus on uh, my exact area. So that's where the reference design really comes uh, to picture to address all of those. The second pillar is ODM. And Compared to the legacy ODMs, this is, diff this is kind of different, right? Not any ODM can do VR. And the reason for that is it's very complicated. It requires a lot of knowledge, a lot of tools that are not as common as maybe if we look to the smartphone today. And I'm sure Alan is gonna go through uh, some of those challenges uh, later on. And actually, ODMs for us is that they take our reference design as a starting point and we want them to take it to the next level by customizing it to that experience that you want, to, that, to build that form factor eventually that you want. And one of the most important part as well is to optimize the bomb to maybe the pricing point that you might be uh, targeting here. So, uh, and we're very glad to have Gartec as a partner they, uh, they've been with us from the start of our journey with VR, and um, basically we are um, eventually um, looking into building that even more and having Gortec as part of our um, system moving forward. The third pillar is components, peripherals, and technology partners. 
Think about display, think about um, um, uh, sensors, cameras, think about any ISV. All of those are, if you want to eventually validate those, you can use the reference design. You can use this um, uh, accelerated program. If you want something that is already validated, something we call a preferred list, this is the program is going to offer you that, right? And the third, the fourth uh, pillar is about the performance. It's about getting into uh, uh, basically that bar that we set of KPIs, but it's just a word here, but the key point is we provide an indication of what that bar should be. We provide as well tools, testing methodologies. We provide um, um, like how the accuracy should be uh, for the customers to, to be able to, um, um, to, to refer to. And the fifth part, and maybe as important as everything else, once you have everything all together, you need eventually to get, to, uh, to get that out. And we have a lot of marketing tools that we use, and we can join here forces into getting that out into um, uh, the market. So we, we've had multiple generations so far working with uh, Gore-Tec. We had the first generation based on 821, and the second generation based on 835, um, which added a lot more features. And we're moving now into the third generation based on eight, the, our latest Snapdragon, which is uh, uh, 845. And I'm going to talk shortly about uh, the 845 and what is coming there. Now, this is a good example of devices that have been based, uh, that have been leveraging the um, HAP program, that have been actually um, um, built and manufactured by Gartic as well. Very known is like one of them is uh, the Lenovo Mira Solo. That's the first uh, Daydream standalone device. Um, I don't know how many of you maybe uh, tried it before. How many? No? Not yet. Perfect. This one. And uh, the other device, more towards enterprise, is the Neo uh, device based on uh, 835 that's been as well out um, earlier this year. Now, moving into 845, the key, again, here we're going into the reference design and the platforms. This is the latest generation that we have, and it brings a lot of, um, a lot of advantages uh, compared to previous generations. One is you're getting a lot of computation per uh, milliwatt in there. So you have an upgraded, uh, really, um, um, display subsystem, an upgraded video subsystem, camera subsystem and also like from mainly the computation. And that allowed us to uh, add few features. Um, I, I don't know if you get a chance to attend one of our tech talks by hearing earlier we were talking about, for example, room scale. That's something that is new where you can finally really enjoy the six DOF uh, experience, but you can move around. And we call it room scale because you can room in a room kind of, uh, uh, kind of size of, of, of space. We have also capability to support their 6 of control, although it's not uh, uh, available yet. But we have some customers that, um, like the new one, that started offering some level of 6 of controller. But other key things, like foveated rendering, eye tracking, are coming all uh, within this platform. Right. So I, I hand over to you, Alan. All right. Thanks. So now we're going to get into a little bit about Gore-Tex's role in the HAP program with Qualcomm. So basically, each time we create a new generation reference design, what happens is that we partner with Qualcomm. They provide us with their latest generation silicon. In this case, we're showing the VR845 chipset. They also provide the VR SDK support. And with that, we do the system integration, including all of the double E, all of the mechanical, the industrial design, uh, all the component integration, including firmware and we bring the whole thing together into a single reference design platform that is ready for demonstration, okay? Um, as part of this uh, HAP accelerator, you know, the whole goal is to make it easier for you to bring your VR product to market faster. Um, we have done a lot of the cycles of learning all of the troubleshooting that has happened in trying to integrate these key components together into a VR HMD. And 
some of the lessons learned and the cycles of learning are not obvious. So after we have done this, you're able to bring your market, your, your product to market faster. Uh, GoerTech does provide a complete end-to-end -end solution as a VR ODM. Uh, we have the capability of doing industrial design as well as doing all of the double E, the ME design for you guys, as well as acoustics, uh, software integration, the whole nine yards. With regards to ergonomics, since this is a wearable product, um, Gore-Tec has a lot of experience making extremely comfortable uh, ergonomic uh, HMDs. Uh, we've done wearable consumer electronics products for over 10 years, and we've done VR HMDs for over four years. So we have a lot of experience doing these sort of VR wearable products, and it counts when you put it on your head and you're gonna wear it for an hour or two. Uh, with regards to optics, GoreTech actually is pretty unique in the ODM space in that we have uh, in-house design and, manu and manufacturing capability for optics. So this gives you an extra level of vertical integration when you engage with GoreTech as your manufacturing partner. With regards to manufacturing, uh, GoreTech has the whole end-to-end -end manufacturing capability available for you, as well as the ability to create uh, our own tools and manufacturing equipment specifically for VR manufacturing and test. With regards to VR test, there's a lot of very uh, specific, very customized VR tests that occur when you're um, making not only the optics portion, but also the complete system tests. And Goretech has all of that capability already in-house and up and running for development as well as manufacturing. So this brings us to the end of the talk. And um, you know, our take home message for you guys is uh, please, Think about the VR Accelerator program from Qualcomm as a mechanism to help you bring your product to market faster. Uh, using the reference design that we've created with Qualcomm, uh, it will give you fast time to prototyping. Uh, it will give you an existing robust ODM partner and we have all of the key components covered in terms of supply and test. So, uh, yeah, and, and just just before we, we close, remember that um, the hub is a program, it's a framework, it's a process, it's a forum for the ecosystem by the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So, if you are an app developer, if you are a component, if you have an idea, if you have really an innovation, this is a window for you. This is where you can bring it in, integrate it. There's a lot of work for you guys. If you want to go and start from scratch, trying to do it in your corner, it's going to take time. Hap, its aim is this is where you can meet the other pieces, and that's where someone can build the whole system. Because just if you take care of your piece, glue it in into what is in the system, and suddenly you have a full solution that you're sure, you're sure that it's going to get to market because all the groundwork has been laid out already. We've done all the heavy lifting for the other part of the system that actually is flexible enough that you can go and tap into any part. Thank you. Thank you very much.